Hi friends, it's Pastor Katie. Welcome to chapel. Today we're going to talk a lot about the letter B and about baptism. What is a family? Think for a minute about all the people that are in your family. What is a family? Family, family. Today we're going to talk about how we're all part of God's family. But first, let's sing with Miss Pam. Hi, preschool friends. It's Miss Pam. I know some of you know me from last year, and some of you are brand new friends. And I wish that we could be together in person, but this will be the next best thing. So I want to teach you a song that we're going to be doing each week at our chapel time with Pastor Katie. And some of you might know this last year. And here's the sign language. It goes like this. Come, come, everybody worship with a prayer or song of praise. Come, come, everybody worship, worship God always. Worship God always. Come, come, everybody worship with a prayer or song of praise. Come, come, everybody worship, worship God always. Thanks, Miss Pam, for that song. Now today we're talking about baptism and our scripture comes from the New Testament, the part of the Bible about when Jesus lived and walked here on earth and after his death and his resurrection. There were lots of people being baptized and Jesus too went down into the water. He went under it and he came back up and the heavens opened up and the voice of God said, this is my son with whom I am pleased. Now here in our church, we have baptism too. Let's Look in our message box to see if there's anything there that can help us. Ah, a pitcher of water and a basin and a branch. Now, every church does it a little bit different, and that's okay, but all use water. Water's a reminder of God's love and grace that pours out for every one of us. And every time we touch water, we can remember that we're loved by God and cherished by God. Usually a pastor like me would take the water and pour it on your head and say these special words, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Sometimes you go all the way under the water. Sometimes water is poured on your head. How much water doesn't really matter. What matters is that at that moment you become part of the family of God. For some people it happens when they're babies. For others it's when they're an adult. But either way that it happens, it says that you're an important part of this community, of these believers, that you're part of God's big family. Now, this week, as you see water, as you play with it in the puddles, or maybe the rain comes out of the sky, as you're taking your bath, or maybe playing in your water table, or maybe you're helping with your dishes around the house, remember every time you see water that you are loved by God and that you're an important part of God's family. Would you pray with me? Hi, I'm Devin. I am the contemporary worship leader here at Mumsy, and I'm going to play every move I make. Every move I make, I'm making you. You make me move, Jesus. Every breath I take, I breathe in you. Every step I take, I take in you. You are my way, Jesus. Every breath I take, I breathe in you. Waves of mercy, waves of grace. Everywhere I look, I see your face. Your love has captured me. Every breath I take, I breathe in you. 
Every step I take, I take in you. You are my way, Jesus. Every breath I take, I breathe in you. Waves of mercy, waves of grace. Everywhere I look, I see your face. Your love has captured me. Devin. Well, friends, this week I hope you will know that you are loved, and I am so glad that you are part of this big God family. Would you pray with me? Gracious and loving God, thank you for your spirit that falls afresh on us today, and for your love that flows everywhere. Bless these children and all the children of our church. It's in the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Amen.